please update on what is happening. I have, <laughs> my sensors have been blinded by the light. <laughs> Wrapped up like a douche, another boner in the night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why Pego got the lyrics wrong. Particularly it's an indication that their systems might be failing from all the water damage. Wouldn't a love robot be like pretty waterproof? Yeah, there's but there's a difference well between there's a difference between getting wet and submersing well, yourself. Yeah, this this actually comes back to something that we discuss on the show sometimes, the difference between something being weatherproof and waterproof. If it's weatherproof, it'll keep water out, but if it's waterproof, it'll keep it out under pressure like you would want for the hull of a vessel. So, that I guess comes down to uh yeah. Pegos. Are, are you waterproof or weatherproof? Correct. I am weatherproof and not <laughs> waterproof. And on the same note, I should note that I have all season tires, <laughs> which are not necessarily good winter tires. I mean, dread. I so, am so happy that we have a professional like answer to that question. <laughs> Go on. So I think it explains it really well because like Pego is d clearly designed to get wet, but it's just <laughs> there's. There's layers there's of wet and layers. <laughs> there's levels to wetness and pressure that just they. There's a difference between a shipwreck podcast and a you know like a horny podcast. Sometimes, I don't know. We did we did do an episode on a boat called the Muff Diver. I probably mentioned that one before already, but <laughs> that was a that was a short one. Um, but uh, that was uh, the horniest one I think on the show so far. <laughs> 